The book of John chapter 17 shares with us some of the remarkable prayers that Jesus said. Jesus prayed for you and I who today believe in his word, believe in the Bible and believe in his truth. John chapter 17 tells us about the remarkable prayers that Jesus said just before his crucifixion. Now, before Jesus was taken away to be crucified, he made these three remarkable prayers that I want to share with you today. The first prayer Jesus made was for himself. Jesus prayed for himself first. And then he also prayed for his disciples at the time. Lastly, Jesus prayed for you and I who today believe in his word, believe in the Bible and believe in his truth. Now, the prayer that Jesus prayed for his disciples um, was that they remained in the world and are protected from the devil. Now, Jesus' first prayer for himself, he prayed that he be glorified with the glory which the Father gave him from the beginning of creation. And lastly, Jesus' prayer for you and I was that we remained as one. That we remained in the Father, even as Jesus himself remained in his Father. So Jesus' earnest prayer was that we remain one and we remain in him as he remains in the Father. And lastly, Jesus' prayer for us was so that we would spend eternity with him. So that where he, Jesus, is right now, we too might spend that eternity with him. I hope that today's message from the book of John chapter 17 is something that inspires you to see things from Jesus' perspective. And in all honesty, it was Jesus, it's been Jesus' desire. And in fact, today it is his desire that we remain one as Christians and continue to believe in him so that the world must bear testimony of the fact that it's love that keeps us together as Christians. I hope this message means something special to your heart today as it does for me. Um, and my prayer is that God's will be done in our lives, that we find our strength through his word that we can remain as one and continue to believe in him. And this is one of the most powerful testimonies we can bear to the world. Those who are yet to know Christ, those who have decided not to believe in Christ, our families and friends and those around us, is by remaining as one and believing in Jesus and remaining in him even as he remains in the Father is one of the most powerful testimonies we can bear about the love of God. God bless you for listening today and to my subscribers, my followers and those who like this ministry, God richly bless you today and like I always say, God bless you always. Continue to like and share. Um, and if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to this ministry to spread its reach. God bless you once again and have a lovely weekend and lovely week ahead. Bye-bye.